Hi, I wanted to take a couple minutes to show you some very basic ways to make your Eclipse editing experience a little nicer. Um, and it basically all involves how to make, how to maximize your screen real estate. If you're working on a laptop, you um, may want to show a few different things at once. And Eclipse by default kind of shows a lot of information, not all of which you necessarily want to see at all times. Okay, so I'm going to go over three things, maximizing, minimizing views, going into a project in the Package Explorer, and splitting screens in the editor. Okay, so here we have the um, basic Java perspective for Eclipse. And as you can see, there's this Package Explorer on the left-hand side, which shows you all of the projects that you're working on. And if you have one project open, you can kind of navigate down into it. You have the editor window in the middle here. You have your problems window down here, along with you know getting Java docs and the console and all that. And then you have this outline mode over here, which can be useful if you're trying to you know look through and find various methods in a class. So all of these things are super useful to you. It's just that none of these. Th it's very rare that you need all of these silly things all at once. Okay, and they're using up a lot of the space. Okay, so let's talk about ways to fix that. Okay, and it turns out to be super simple. Eclipse has this generic thing. If you go up into the kind of the, the uh, top line, the title bar line, or whatever you want to call it, of any of these, these windows and double click, what it's going to do is minimize all of the other views and maximize the current view. Okay, so the editor is the one that you're going to want to probably do most. So I double click up here and all of a sudden I'm seeing you know the entire editor and these other things have been minimized. If I double click again I go back right the way it was before. So that's a super nice little trick and so if I you know double click like this and then I can you know make the screen look like that and all of a sudden I've got a little space here to put a browser or whatever else I need to look at okay and if I want to get back, you know, the entire thing, I can double click and, and get it again. Okay, so that's the first trick. And you, you can actually do this for all, any of these. It, you know, they all work uniformly. But, you know, I don't know any time you'd ever really want to do it for anything other than the, the editor view. Okay, the second thing to note is once you're in one of these views, you can see that the other ones have been kind of put, the, the other three modes, are still accessible via the, this little restore icon here. So I can click here and it comes back. If I want to minimize it, I do that. And so now you can kind of see how individually, and then I can make this one come back, or I can make it go away again by doing that. And then finally, I can make the bottom screen show up, or I can click this to minimize it. Okay? So that's the first mode um, that we have. And what I'll do is I'll just restore all of these to go uh, back where they were. So now we're back to this original mode. But you should, basically when you're working, I, I recommend you rarely have all of these things open in the default configuration. The first thing you should do is figure out what do I actually need to know? And then at the very least minimize you know, the stuff that's not um, of much importance to you. Okay, so that's the first thing, minimizing, maximizing windows. The second thing, is the go into function, which I think is really nice. Okay, so you can see I have, I don't know, probably you know, 10 different um, Eclipse projects here. But the only one I'm really working on right now is play example form. And all of these other ones are just kind of using up space and, you know, kind of b distraction. So what I do when I think of it is I, I do this go into. And what it does is it makes this particular, the Package Explorer, show only this particular project. And, you know, at least in this class, it's rare that you're going to be wanting to kind of navigate back and forth between multiple projects at once. Once you find the project you want to work on, I suggest you go into it so that, you know, that's the only thing that you see. And then, you know, now you can actually resize the screen a little bit to get more um, real estate for, um, you know, the, the, the rest of the stuff that you're working on. Okay, and if you want to get out of that, then there's this little, you know, right arrow. And, you know, here's this arrow, so you can go back and forth, you know, or you can just select it with this go into thing. Okay, so that's trick number two. Again, 
you know, it's a way of kind of cleaning up your workspace, making it more efficient for you to, to work in. Third trick, this is one of my favorite tricks, okay, and that is that, um, let's, first of all, I'll minimize that guy because um, I don't really need him, but you can see, let's say I'm working on two files at once, I'm going to have to click back and forth, okay? Well, that's a pain, okay? Fortunately, you don't have to do that, okay? Just click on this tab, hold it, and then move it a little bit, and you see how the, this green uh, lines have showed up to show how the screen's going to be split, okay? So now when I release my mouse, I've got the screen split in two, and I can look at both files at once, and life is much more wonderful, okay? If I want to go back the way it was before, I simply uh, click on the, um, the tab associated with the pane, and then, you know, it shows kind of all these different ways to do it. But if you just move it back up to where, you know, the other tab level thing, you can see the little green line up there and release. Now I've gone back to my original mode. Okay, so I hope that you can use this. If you're working on a laptop, laptops, um, you know, have limited screen real estate, you really want to optimize it. it. You work faster if you are seeing what it is that you need and if you can very quickly and fluently, you know, reconfigure your screen to get the information that you need at any time.